Welcome back, everybody, to the home of Jewett Guitars in downtown Cleveland, Ohio, also the home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And today, I'm really excited about showing you two new models that we have in 2021, and it's about the middle of the year, it's July. And in these two models, I've explored some new design and um, construction techniques that really have produced some dramatic, dramatic differences in some of the guitars that we make here. And the first guitar I want to show you is this one. This is an OM cutaway with the Venetian cutaway or the rounded cutaway. And the back and sides on this guitar are made from sinker mahogany. And this particular sinker mahogany came out of the Hudson River. And I've got a story about that mahogany, which will appear in the video at the bottom. But very briefly, this was about 1920 or 1930s when this wood was transported up to the, a sawmill in New York. And before it had a chance to go into the sawmill, it sank to the bottom of the holding pond and it just sat there until it was dredged out about a couple years ago. I ran into this wood in a suburb of Cleveland. I went down, I looked at it, and I bought everything that this guy had, which was about three or 400 board feet. And it's been sitting in my shop and I've been resawing it into guitars. And boy, this stuff really has a nice sound, which you'll hear in just a sec. But before I get into that, let's talk a little bit about some of the appointments and features of this particular model. I'll start up here at the top. I've got a black peg head overlay with my white mother of pearl Jewett logo inlaid. And on this one, I've got a very simple cat eye with diamond inlay, but it's in blue power, I think it's called. And it looks really, really nice and delicate and classy on this ebony. I've got a one and three quarters inch bone nut, ebony fretboard. And on this one, I've got very small, I think these are four millimeter position markers or fret markers that go all the way down. And then my little signature flourish right here. This fretboard has gold Evo frets, which are undoubtedly my favorite frets right now. Continuing on down, I have a Cocobolo rosette. This is a solid wood rosette that's inlaid in to the top of the guitar and it's bordered by two purfling rings. I have a black ebony bridge that matches the fingerboard and this has two and one quarter inch pin spacing. So with the one and three quarter inch nut and two and a quarter inch bridge spacing down here, we're sort of a standard finger style setup. As always, I have a bone saddle. This guitar features a Carpathian spruce top or soundboard. And that's a European spruce and it produces a very, very mellow, rich mid-range, which you'll hear in just a sec. But let's turn this around and talk about the back here. On the back, I have a Brazilian rosewood veneer overlay right here that matches the Brazilian rosewood heel cap here. So a little bit of extra bling on the back. And these are gold Goto 510 tuners. And the 510 series are my favorite tuners. And these feature the black, I think they call it ebonoid knob. It's not real ebony, it's plastic, but it does tie in very nicely with the ebony on the other side of the guitar. I've got a Martin style backstripe or backstrip going down the center of this. And as you can see, the figure on the back of this guitar with the sinker mahogany is just absolutely stunning, particularly under the gloss finish that I give it. I've got the guitar body bordered in some really beautiful flame maple. And on the soundboard side, I have a very simple, just black, white, black purfling strip that goes around, very simple. And it features a black line, purfling line, that goes on the back of the binding around the perimeter on the front and the back. The, ebono, or the ebony fretboard is also bound in the same flame maple. So it really gives this guitar a very classy look 
but it's not overdone. I like to keep my designs more on the simple but really sophisticated style. I do really concentrate on the sound a little bit more so than the design, but you do want a good sounding and a good looking guitar at the same time. And you'll hear this sound in just a sec. Overall, this is what we call a deep body OM. And this is actually a little bit deeper than your standard deep body. This is a full four and seven eighths inch deep at the tail end and about, I think, three and three quarters at the neck. So it's a very large sound box. And this produces some very, very nice bass, not overpowering, but if you like the plaque or if you like the flat pick, it will really, really sound nice with a pick. But it has, because of the Carpathian spruce and sinker mahogany, some very, very substantial mid-range and some very nice trebles. So let's give this guitar a listen because I think you're gonna hear something very, very special. Thank mm -hmm. you. 